Hello lovelies and welcome to Let's Play The Murder Express with me, Zelle and Graves. Take two. Early on, because I have just woken up. But this is a game by Suits and Nukes, as you can see. These guys make good stuff. This is a film noir murder mystery. Set on a train, which is my a combination of all my favorite things. Twink. There's a long loading screen here, and I'm going to spin the mouse just to make sure that the video does not freeze, so don't mind this. Anyway, there was a monologue at the beginning that basically boiled down to of all the nights and all the world and all the trains. Ah! What was that? I had to board this one. Dee Dee Doo, there seems to be mystery afoot. Some sort of danger. Let's investigate. Ah, ah, the wall. Ah, anyway, let's see what we has here. My god, he's been murdered. Hmm, indeed he do. Look at that mustache. That must have had something to do with it. Let's see. Hmm. The victim appears to have handcuffed himself to something. Looks like whoever opened up these cuffs did so with a key. Hmm. But then what was he attacked with? As money is gone, as per the huge, okie dokie. Now, cool thing about this, warning, there is a killer on board the train. It could be anyone. So until you are certain, don't get too close to anyone when the lights go out. Righty O. Now, first place first, we're gonna go this way. Because this way is closer to the back of the train. Stop working up freaking door. Anyway. Anyway, let's see. Come on, where's the light? There it is. Solving the case. When you have collected the murder weapon, you'll be able to accuse a Hey, get away from me! You'll be able to accuse a suspect of the murder. Choose wisely. If you fail to identify the correct suspect, you will fail the game. Look for clues and interrogate suspects to figure out who the killer is. Press J for journal. So, we've got all these people Two in each car, except for car number six. And then there's the murder weapon. Okay, day. Now. Hello, look at this. That appears to be blood. Which means the murderer must have gone this way. Hi. How you doing? You like me being this close to your face? Uh, am I in your personal space? How you doing? Have you seen anything unusual? I saw Mr. Gacy walking around with a rope earlier. Interesting, but... Inconsequential, there was nothing to do with rope with the victim. I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Mr. Bundy. Bundy, huh? That wouldn't be Ted by any chance, would it? That's all I know. Ah. Okie day! Oh, it's dark! Hi there, mister. Excuse me. Hi. If the suspect has an item on them, you can click it to see what it is. It may be important to the case. What's this? I found this key on the floor earlier. I'm certain I have no idea what it unlocks. Oh, really? Could you then possibly have killed the killer? Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, it's dark now. I saw Miss Dennehy walking around with the rope earlier. Who cares about rope? I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Miss Doss. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll be sure to let you know whatever I find out, Inspector. Okay, day! Now, you were who? Dammer! Aha! Uh -huh. Good to know! Follow the blood, Inspector! Dot, dot, dot! <laughs> anyway. Oh, 
Whoop. I see you. Hey, hey, hey. The blood's still in this direction, so... It could be you. See anything unusual? I saw Miss Denning walking around with a rope earlier. A lot of rope in here. I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Mr. Dammer. Really? Hmm. That's all I know. Good to know. Click that. What's I this found you have? I key on the floor earlier. I'm certain I have no idea what that unlocks. Wait, you have the suitcase key? And that guy had the, uh... The, the handcuff key. Interesting. Aloha! See anything unusual? Excuse me? What? I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Mr. Kemper. Okay, but did you see... I'll be sure to let you know whatever I find out, Inspector. But did you see anything unusual? Evidently not. Huh. Interesting. That's never happened before. But yeah, the cool thing about this is it's randomly generated every time you uh, start the game. Ooh. Hey. I see you, mister. Gooey. You wi- <laughs> Alright. Anyway, every time you start this over, the murder victim is always Mr. Duvall, but his uh, condition changes. He'll have, like, a noose mark around his neck, or a stab wound. I'm not sure what this is. I think this may be a stab wound, actually. Possibly. Not quite sure. But there will be a briefcase here, maybe his whole hand is missing? That happened the first time. And as I was just about to figure things out, whack! I was smacked in from the darkness, because I passed somebody while it was dark instead of light. Which is a big no-no. Whoa, but it can happen at any time. Hey, you stay back of there, lady. Now then. Hey, where'd you go? There you are. Hi. Eh, eh, eh. See anything on you? I saw Mr. Ramirez walking around with a baseball bat earlier. Interesting. But unlikely. I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Mr. Bundy. Aha. Uh -huh. Anything else? I'll be sure to let you know whatever I find out, Inspector. Okie day. Hello. I saw Mr. Kemper walking around with a rope earlier. So much rope! I don't care about the rope, the dude wasn't strangled. It's no secret that Miss Ramsey has been angry with Mr. Duval. Hmm, really? That's all I know. Interesting. Ugh. Okay. Now then, rush past everybody else. Nothing in the bathroom. Hello. Uh, excuse me, hello. What? Dang, damn it. I didn't know Mr. Duval well enough to comment, I'm afraid. Ah, too bad. That's all I know. Very much too bad. Hello. Have you seen I anything? saw Mr. Ramirez walking around with a baseball bat earlier. Nobody cares about the baseball bat. Who's got the knife? And where is said knife? I didn't know Mr. Duval well enough to comment, I'm afraid. I really can't say. I'm sorry, Inspector. That's okay. I really must say, though, the uh, voice acting in this is superb. Well done, everyone who did this. Hello. Uh, hello. Get your ass over here. I saw Mrs. Fisher walking around with a baseball bat earlier. Uh-huh. I didn't know Mr. Duval well enough to comment, I'm afraid. 
Well, that figures. I'll be sure to let you know whatever I find out, Inspector. Good on ya. Oh, uh oh. Uh. One of you guys gonna try and kill me? Okay. Hello. See anything unusual? I saw Miss Tapan walking around with the baseball bat earlier. Blast it! I didn't know Mr. Duval well enough to comment, I'm afraid. I can't really say. I'm sorry, Inspector. That's okay. But look at what I found. A good. I'll. I'll. I'll cut you! Sheesh. Quick, hide in the bathroom. Okay, we found ourselves a knife. A knife that we cannot zoom in on. That's okay. Let's see how. Hello? Oh, it's you. Hello. I saw Mr. Berkowitz walking around with a rope earlier. Blast! No one has seen anyone walking around with a knife. I noticed Mr. Ramirez watching Mr. Duval's briefcase as we boarded earlier. I can't really say. I'm sorry, Inspector. Blast it all! No, the front of the train! Hmm. This makes things very difficult. It could be you, so I'm not taking any chances here. Alright. Now, see the door handle? There's no blood. Excuse me? Whoever killed Duval would have had a lot of blood on their hand. Back off, big dude. I do have a knife now. There we go. Remember, they can get you unexpectedly the moment it turns dark. Still no blood. No blood here. So they did not go this way. And that was a lot of blood from a knife wound. In a knife like this, most definitely, you're going to be covered in blood with... Or your hand, at least, is going to be covered. So... This way... Has blood. So it's either car one or the caboose. Let's see here. Car one has Mr. Dammer and Mrs. or Miss Ramsey, and the caboose has Berkowitz and Denny. Hmm. Four suspects. Hi. Hey, get your ass over here. Okay, you're the one carrying. I found what? this key on the floor earlier. Handcuff. I'm key. certain I have no idea what it unlocks. Certainly. I saw Miss Dennehy walking around with the rope earlier. Irrelevant. Let's see, uh, did the victim have any... No, any other information now? I'll be sure to let you know whatever I find out, Inspector. Bleh! Did the victim have any enemies? I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Miss Doss. No, that doesn't fit the bill. The blood's this way and Miss Doss was clean. It's dark. <gasps> I think if I'm in a conversation, I should be safe. Okay. Hello, Ramsey. Anything unusual? I saw Mr. Gacy walking around with a rope earlier. I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Mr. Bundy. Bundy. But no, Bundy's clean. He's way off in the other car. That's all I know. Okay. Now, uh, what did you say? I heard Mr. Duval owed no, quite to a bit Ms. of Doss. money to Miss Doss. You guys are irrelevant. Aloha. I can't talk to you when you're standing together. Uh -oh. Must be careful because it could be him. Or it could be her. Or it could be the radio. Oh, jeez. That is an interesting texture glitch. Wow. Anyway, hi. Get your... Now then, you have I found this key on the a floor suitcase earlier. key. I'm certain I have no idea what that unlocks. 
But it says suitcase. You must know that it unlocks a suitcase then. I saw Miss Denny walking around with a rope earlier. Uh huh. Did the victim have any enemies? I heard Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Mr. Dammer. Mr. Dammer? Really? Wasn't Dammer the guy in just in the other car there? That's all I know. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Whoa! Oh, that was stupid. Gooey! Alright. Hello, Miss Denny. Still no I go heard on that. Mr. Duval owed quite a bit of money to Mr. Kemper. Any other info? I'll be sure to let you know whatever I find out, Inspector. Okie day. Let's see. Let's review. Mr. Dammer is in car one, but the blood led all the way back to the caboose. Could he have put it back up, or, or no, uh, could he have gone to the caboose and then came back, or could it be Miss Dinny? Or Dinny? Blood led all the way back, so you know what? Actually, Mr. Berkowitz had the key. I bet you, if one of those uh, people that I couldn't talk to indicated who had the knife, it was probably Mr. Berkowitz. So let's determine him. Accused of murder? Yes! Damn. I knew I should have looked for more clues. Oh, well, come on! Better luck next time. Oh. It was either Mr. Berkowitz, Miss Dennehy, or Mr. Dammer. Oh! He said... He said that Mr. Dammer had... Motive... I should have followed that line. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, real quick, let's check the credits because these are amazing. Yeah! Here's all the people that did the voices. Thank y'all very much. On the murder train. Yeah! Anyway, thank you all for watching. This has been Let's Play The Murder Express with me, Sully and Graves. <sighs> I knew it was Mr. Dammer. Ah, oh, just... Mm, I should have gone with my gut. He went into the caboose, and then he came back again. Oh well, I might try this again, because, like I said, I love this stylization, the film noir style, it's so cool. From, like, Casablanca to Sin City and everything in between. Oh, it's beautiful, it's lovely. Anyway, I will catch you next time. So, I do my outro correctly. This has been this game that I've been playing. Hi, I'm Silly and Graves, anyway. Catch you all next time. Later.